So uh, last night I made a video of my uh, chicken slash duck yard evening chores. I change their waters every night, the pool water, check on the health of my birds, uh, make sure they have everything they need, make sure everything's going well down there in their little bird world. Um, and so yeah, let's watch that video now. Fine. The other day I was walking through there and there was like metal wire that caught, it almost cut my ankle. Yeah. So right when I come in, a bunch of the girls gather at the door in hopes of treats. And then the first thing I do is check the side of this bowl because I thought there was blood on it, but it turned out just to be chicken poo. Um, and then I threw some food in hopes that the girls would focus more on the food than what I was doing. It kind of worked for a little bit. Um, and then I just add some grit and some oyster shells to this purple bowl because it was getting low. Um, I check this daily. It's important that they get that um to help digest their food and of course the oyster shells uh gives them some extra calcium to give them strong eggs although i always question that um and then i threw down some mealworms i don't buy mealworms often because i think that they are expensive and um all of my birds get uh, a pretty varied diet um and I know that they get plenty of bugs. So when I do buy them, it is a treat. And then I just um, redistributed some food to one of the duck bowls because the chickens love to go over and eat as much of the duck food as they possibly can. So I wanna make sure that they're getting what they need. And then um, I just use my little bucket here to, um, get them some fresh water for their, for the uh, water bowls. And um, I actually do this a few times a day so that they always have access to fresh water. Okay, so right here I add a drop of oregano oil to the water. I do this to boost my birds' immune systems. Um, we live in a really humid place and in humid places uh, there tends to be more disease and this is something that I believe has helped us, you know, fight off um, possible diseases. And as you can see, I add it to the other water bowl as well. Um, I only add it to the nighttime water because that's the water they drink in the morning and mid-afternoon I change that water and they just get fresh water and then I will add the oregano um, once again in the evening. So remember the video where I made a drain for my pool? Well that pool ended up getting a pretty big crack in it and um, we could no longer use it and I have been too lazy to add the same drain to this pool and so I am giving myself more work by um, having to use a bucket to scoop it out as much as I can and then I flip it and dump it and I'm sure it's going to get a crack in it because these pools are not made very well. Um, I don't know. If, if you have uh, other ideas for a pool for a duck an inexpensive idea let me know in the comments and once a day I fill the duck pool with fresh clean water and usually the second that I remove the hose my ducks go and dirty up the water just as fast as they can 
And then I had to redistribute some dirt and wood chips to this muddy area. This area gets muddy because it's where the water, water bowl sits a lot. Um, and it just gets muddy. Sometimes I don't toss the water through the fence like I should. And every day the ducks make a mess in the water bowl and with the water. And if you have ducks, you know, you just know they're just messy. They're messy with water and they dirty up every water bowl that we have and their pool. Um, and I try and keep the area dry um, because I try and reduce cases of bumblefoot. Um, the wet ground can contribute to that. And um, bumblefoot is a pain to deal with. So although I cannot eliminate it, I can help uh, keep it at bay. And so that is my video. I appreciate you coming along and doing my tours with me. Thanks. Bye.